Hello. How is everybody's day going? Are we good? Pretty cold here in Missouri. Gerald got a new mic and new gear. Are you setting it up, Gerald? The Go XLR Mini. You have to let me know how you like that. I don't have any kind of mixer board. I've got a little preamp over here. Um, focus right for my microphone. I can't see your microphone in the picture though. I mean, I can see the box. It looks very similar. Is it a Heil, H-E-I-L? All right, I gotta get back to the chat. I have no idea what's happening. Get serious about it. You've invested the money now, right? That's the first step. First step is invest the money. Next step is to actually get serious about it. <laughs> it's like buy that gym membership before you start working out. Sorry, honey. I, I got to go. I paid for this. Ooh, riding your bike, Glenn? Broke your collarbone? Yeah. I don't know if you probably can't see it in this picture but I've got it it's my collarbone sticking out like a quarter of an inch I'm so sorry did it break on the outside or the inside mine's on the inside and it seems seemingly worse you know, working out is dangerous we had Thanksgiving here right and uh, <laughs> our family does football so um, flag football, although there is definitely contact and uh, occasional tackling. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I did not play this year. In years past, I have been injured. And uh, it's, 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 it's a blow to the ego as much as anything. <laughs> That's why Ryan stays inside. <laughs> what should we do today? What should we do? Um, I think I'm going to continue on what I started last time or what I was working on last time, which was building out carousels. Um, let me, I have a carousel that I want to build. It's the one from the Disney app, uh, Disney plus big banner and the previous and next bits, um, are slightly smaller. Got my iPad. Disney, where you at? And I'm pretty sure I have a picture of it here somewhere. Yes. Oh, that's right, Clifford. You do mountain bike, don't you? My bike is. Uh, I need to. I need to empty out my tires and refill them. Hey, look, it's a desktop. Um, I've got the, uh, yeah, the run flats or not run flats. What do you call it? Tubeless. Got my tubeless set up. Yeah, that's what I want. I'm not sure I'm going to be in a good position to do this one just yet, but um, Javier gave me an idea on how to accomplish this, so I'm going to try that. So first things first, let me see. Let's see if I can pull up the uh, image here on my other screen. Or actually, it's a video. No, what am I doing? Brain goes on leave as soon as I start streaming. All right. Going to the, the group chat. Looking up the video sample that I provided, which I provided the video sample. Da -da 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 -da. Scroll, scroll. There it is. Save. There it goes. Oof, that's not that big. Let me close that window. All right. So, desktop downloads. Ugh. Does everybody have this happen? Every time I open downloads, it has to re-index everything. Drives me bananas. It's like, come on, dude. This is like the folder I go to all the time. Let 
Where did it stick my video? Are you kidding me? What about recent? Is there a recent folder? Quick access. Recent files. What? I just... Nope, not that one. That's the work that I've been doing. All right, bear with me. Go away. Am I enjoying this app? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> not when you interrupt me, I'm not. Where did you put the show open containing folder? You put it where? It's in the downloads. Stinker. All right. So this is the, the banner at the top. You see how it's the, the previous and the next are smaller, and then it becomes bigger. So I guess uh, either uh, the one in focus, the current item, needs to be at 100 scale, um, or um, it needs to be at like 120, and everything else is at 100. I don't know which one is the better way to go, but let's see what we can do here. Baby Yoda. You know, Clifford, I actually, for the mountain biking stuff, when I first really got into it and I was not very confident, I bought um, body armor. Literally bought body armor. Don't really use it anymore, but if I were to actually try to be aggressive, I would completely put on the body armor. Actually, the body armor would have been good to wear uh, for the football game. <laughs> Protect my ribs. Hello. Hare Krishna. Um, okay, so what am I doing here? Get rid of this stuff. Oops, don't, you can't look at that. Don't look at that. That's what I was trying to hide from you. Uh, let's see here. So I've got an app. Uh, we're going to create a new carousel page. New page, not a carousel page. New page. We're going to call this, oof, come on. I prefer to do this. Whoops, crap. Didn't give it a name. Do over. I was trying to navigate with just the keyboard and that took me off my game. Uh, okay, so Disney, um, just call it Disney page. Be a little loud. Yeah, uh, it's, I have the, um, let's see, what is my body armor? It's the uh, 210, 1010, mountain bike body armor. Six. got six in the name. Let's look that up. Oof. My Google, Google is failing me. I'm failing Google. I'm not actually Googling, am I? I'm binging. Hmm. I don't even see it. Oh, is that it? Yeah, this brand here, 6-1, that's it. Good stuff. It's that stuff that gets hard as soon as you impact. But otherwise, it's pretty malleable and durable. It's super light, low profile, so when I wear it underneath my stuff, you don't even really know I'm wearing body armor. So it's cool. All right. Uh, let's get rid of the other page. My bad. And then... I don't have those images. Disney page. Um, let's grab, let's see, the REI. Let's grab this sample. It's something to start with. Is everybody else enjoying the baby Yoda? I'm a little disappointed personally. Oh, that's what I did on that page. Yep, I remember doing that. Click 
focal. Get rid of that. I was um, comparing what we've got going on with Carousel View to um, Andre the Cards View control. <laughs> Baby Yoda is kind of can't carry the whole show is all I'm saying. Can't carry the whole show. At some point, you gotta tell a good story. You haven't seen it? Oh yeah, is it uh, Ryan? Is it even available in Australia? Or is Disney Plus yet to roll out there? All right. Title: Disney Plus. So, uh, da, da, da. we don't need this. Don't need a frame around it. And in this case, I don't need an indicator view. Just need a carousel. According to Google, Disney has announced that Australia and New Zealand will be the first countries in the world to receive service November 1st. Followed by the United States. So you got it before us. Is this, you're trying to exert your dominance, your superiority, and yet you haven't watched it? <laughs> I mean, if you got time to burn, that's fine. But uh, all in all, for me personally, it's been a disappointing series. But I uh, have been pretty impressed with Watchmen. That one's kind of mind-bending. Uh, okay, so what I have here is I have my carousel. Um, I gave it a height request because if I don't, it goes bananas. I guess what I could do is I could put a Disney logo here in the center. Because isn't that what I should do? Is that what I should do? Do it. Let's do it. Wonder if I can just find one online. Disney Plus. Whoa. Bing didn't like something. Or Edge didn't like something. Oh, I think I was having this problem before on Chrome. That's what I want. Save image as. Ooh, it's an SVG. Fine. Do this. Somebody was asking previously about how I did, uh, about how I did, oh, I got to log back in. Oh, I got to be like that. Somebody was asking, uh, who was that? Um, Dunn was asking about how I dealt with, uh, or how I got Uplabs designs and turned them into something I could use. And it is a matter of doing, trying to get sued. I'm just building a sample here, man. I'm not making any profit off this. Um, so basically what you end up doing is whatever design tool that you're most comfortable with. You grab the source, and then you go build something. Um, hey, man, if Disney Plus didn't want their logo to be used, they wouldn't have put it out here. I could, I could, I mean, I guess I could just put the Microsoft logo up there. It doesn't have to be the Disney logo. Where'd you go? Uh. Trying to open Photoshop. All right. Uh, downloads. Quick access. Disney logo. Um, that's a lot of inches. That's a lot of pixels. Um, so just like, uh, I don't know. 
200. Uh, the file used a link file, which cannot be found. Open it anyway. Okay. I'm okay with that. So, save that as a PNG. Tongue. Sure. <laughs> they do. I don't know. Maybe I'll back off, but for the purposes of what we're doing right now, I'm just going to roll with it. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do real quick is I want to color. Is there a gradient going on here? All right. Print screen. Oh, you're not going to do it. Print screen. There we go. And then I just want to know what color is that? Copy. Come back over here to the uh, da, da, XAML. Oops. Background color. That. Okay. Um. Logo, logo, logo. Sorry, I just noticed your carousel sample, Glenn. I'll have to look at that. Um, where am I going? I'm going to downloads. Nope, downloads. Yep. Disney logo. Okay, um, and for those who don't know, I mentioned this previously, the drawable-no DPI folder is where you want to put an image if you do not want Android to try to resize it on your behalf. Learn that the hard way by putting a bunch of images into like the HDPI and then running in the app on a XX HDPI uh, device, and it crashed hard, Mem out of memory error because it kept resizing images. Good morning, Lachlan. How are you today? Um, okay, so image source, Disney logo, right? Let me start running some things here. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry, just thinking about something. So I really would like to get some of these big banner images. It would be great if the website just had, had a rotating banner working too. Why don't you have a banner? Kind of have those images. Oh, it's almost the banner. Wonderful, that thing is just sitting there. Come on, snag it, manage your windows. Um, can I do this? Copy link, bring it back down here. Dare I just go to the link that Glenn provided without reading it first? Do I need to censor you? I'm trusting you, man. I'm pa pasting a link and just. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the uh, the hero transition, Kim showed us how to do that with the uh, plugin that's available. So that's the shoe transition. It's not really a carousel, though. That's a um, that's just a collection view. with some on appearing animation. Doable, could add that to a future thingy. 
Uh, Diego converts SVG to Android XML and iOS PDF. Yeah, absolutely. It's another way to go. I just was going for something that would be, I felt easy. I could also use FF image, uh, and I believe it will read the SVGs, won't it? Anybody want to correct me on that? All right, what's going on here? Uh, that's the REI sample. I need to add Disney to my menu. Menu. So I got my flyout here, and I just need to add a new flyout item. Title Disney Plus. And then this is shell content with a content template. Data template, views Disney page. It's hidden behind my video. There we go. All right, save it. Thanks, Cliff. All right, there we go. So it's the beginning of that carousel. Looks much better on an iPad, but uh, I guess I do have it on my phone, too. Let's see what it looks like on my phone, just for reference. Assuming it's just doing this same thing. Oh, I got to log in. That's why I don't, I don't use it on my phone, because I never logged in. Okay, so... What shall we do? Let's do... Um, I need to go back to the Disney page. All right, so first things first, I need some peak. I need some peaking. So peak area insets is what allows us to bring the previous and the next items in from the sides. Um, also, I want to start in the position of one. It's zero-based uh, positioning. Um, but I want to make sure that I have things on both sides. All right, so... Um, Start with a peak area of 80. And my, where's my layout? Oh, I didn't specify layout. All right, then. So you see that I got my items coming in 80 from the side, but there's no spacing. So in order to set spacing, I need, it's bothering me that these things aren't lined up. And that's not going to line them up either. How dare you? There we go. So I need to add the layout so I can add the padding. I also need to learn to spell. Carousel view items layout. Would like for that to show up sooner. And it's a linear layout. The orientation is still horizontal, which I guess it would be nice, right, if I if I knew I was taking defaults on stuff, if I could just do this. Here, I'm going to make it like eight. Oops. be nice if I could do that, and that would just work. Didn't. Did not. Oh, look, I'm... Ah, it's using that margin. Still using the margin. What have I done? What have I done? All right, so let's fill the rest of this out and see if that's the problem. There we go. Interesting. Um, but I've now lost my snapping. So now I need to add my snapping back in. Uh, center. And then snap points type. I'm not sure. What's the difference between mandatory and mandatory single? 
Anybody? You're like, you're the one that should know. All right. So there's the snapping that I want. There's really the positioning that I want. Um, I am going to, sorry, I see comments. I'm coming. I'm going to add more because I'm a glutton. <laughs> Lachlan learned something over already. Good. Kim, yeah, so Glenn, Kim did the, um, let's find it. the book one it's the book sample is it book swap yeah book swap there you go so you watch he clicks on it and then the books transition to where you're going so it's a nice smooth transition from one view to the next with an element that carries over so combine that with a uh, with a carousel, or not a carousel, sorry, with a collection view, horizontal scrolling collection view that has a on appearing animation to kind of slide a little bit like those uh, in the tweet were. And I think he got it. I think it's pretty straightforward. Always good to go see a Kim Philpott's session. Dude rocks it. I want to be him when I grow up. He is a magician. I, uh, I like to do these streams because this is sometimes the only time I get to code. So, all right. So the next thing that I need to figure out here is I want the first element. Wish I knew how to draw on my screen like Kim does. You see my cursor. I want this first, uh, the previous element and the next element to be slightly smaller. Or in the case of the current element for it to be bigger. So I could transform it to be 120% maybe, 110%. But let's see how I do that. And I had a comment um, in a conversation previously from uh, Javier where he made a recommendation. And what was that recommendation? Uh, he said a behavior that you grabs the scrolled event and then sets the current and last um, current index and last index to set a custom scale property. Pancake view works on carousel? Yeah, sure. Uh, I don't really need a pancake though. Do I? What do I need a pancake for? What is this series, The Witcher? I'm not familiar with this. Henry Cavill. I clicked your link. Why do I keep clicking Glenn's links? It's going to get me in trouble. This looks interesting. Is this thing actually out? Is this happening? Upcoming episode, December 20th. Eight episodes are out. TVMA. I don't know, Glenn. I'm a sensitive kind of guy. All right. Back to what we what we have here. Um, so the hopefully in the future this will be easier um, because we'll have a VSM that we can use. Um, the Visual State Manager will allow for us to make adjustments um, to the item based on is it the current item or is it not? However, that's not currently hooked up, um, and that's something that Rui's working on. So what can I do? What can I do? Scroll duh. Let's do this first. Uh, this is not going to look good. All right. Uh, 
Let's see, what do we have here? We've got center item indexed, first visible item indexed, last visible item indexed. Okay. Huh. Horizontal offset. Last visible. All right, let's see what we can do here. Um, so from here, how do I want to get to my items, my actual visible items to change them? I had view models and everything, I could access the, the model, change it, I guess. But like if I do, if I go get out of item source, okay, it's I enumerable. Does, what does this get me? Does this get me the actual element? Cannot apply indexing to, so I don't know. Shows what I know. I barely know C sharp. Uh, get a numerator. How do you get something out of an I enumerable? <laughs> Anyone? Anybody that knows C sharp better than me? I can style things like crazy. I am not a full stack developer, apparently. I've learned from Twitter. I am not a full stack developer. I may I may barely be a 10% stack developer. <laughs> uh, get item from I and How do I? Element at? For reals? Two lists and then I can do anything with it? Yeah, element at is not a real thing, is it? Whoops, wrong keystroke. Just, oh, because I'm running? I wasn't getting the refactoring help that I was expecting. Oh, you're just super mad at me now, aren't you? But you do expect. Element at is real on a list. Why can't I two list this puppy? I enumerable. Maybe I do, maybe I need link. Usually, I mean, I guess I could not use var and I could do 
tell it it's a list. I'm going to see if I get any actual help now. No help. Generate a class. Oh, I need, a, I need my include. What? Collections generic is there. Because it wants me to give it that. Is that the problem? Uh, and because I also need to do this. Item source, uh, it's an array here. I enumerable, I, I'm, I just have an array of strings. Dot cast, really? Never done such a thing. Cool. It's not just about you learning from me. I get to learn from you too. It's allowed. What is this saying anyway? That's not going to help anything. All right. So you're saying cast. Like this? Doesn't like that. Enumerable cast is a method. I didn't I didn't put the method after it. Well that seems to have started something. What are we doing? We are, <laughs> yeah, max stacks. <laughs> I was just complaining that I am not a full stack developer because I don't know how to do things like this. Um, working on getting access to the center item, left item, and right item. So, or yeah, I'll just start with the center item um, so that I can make it bigger. But I guess the problem is, is I now have access to the string not to my actual view, so this doesn't really do me any good, right? Because what I really want access to is the template. I want to grab that image and say, you should be bigger. Gerald, are you still around? You playing around with your new gear? How would y'all go about doing this? As I progress through the carousel, uh, I want to make the center item larger. So I, I mean, I know how to do a transform of the scale. That's no big deal. However, from the scrolled event, I want to get this image and do the transform. How would you do this? So peak deals. I want peak deals right now to be 120% scale. And then when I switch, I want it to go back to 100%, and I want member use coupon to be 120%. And so on. Is 
See, if I had the VSM here and I could say, hey, when you are the center item, do this. Or when you're the current item, set the scale to this. However, I don't have that. Waiting for somebody to rescue me. Let's look. All right, we have carousel view parallax behavior. Oh, this is his, uh, yeah, the drink carousel, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I should be looking at those samples. Okay, so on scrolled. He's got the carousel view, which is the sender. The items, okay. So he grabs the other back, sender index. Then he accesses the layout. Aha, you are correct, sir. He is doing something here. Very similar. All right, so I copy all this and then start deleting it. <laughs> If, if, one more time. Good call. Yeah, I should be referencing these uh, samples. Simple, yeah, right. For you, maybe. <laughs> you know, the thing is, is I used to do a lot of animation stuff and, and a lot of things very much like this in uh, other languages, sometimes in C Sharp. And, um, but it's been a long time and as with any muscle, you don't exercise it, it atrophies. That's why I enjoy doing these streams, because then I get uh, get back into a flow. All right. If layout item, layout is linear items layout. If orientation is horizontal. All right, it's doing a bunch of measuring and stuff. I really just want carousel items as carousel. What is a carousel item? Is that a Javier thing from his project? Let's go back, back. Carousel item, yep, so it is an object. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do that. And then if, I bet you if we look at his um, views in the template, item template, yeah, he's binding. Yep, it's all happening right there. So he's updating the model. The model is using um, I notify property change to pass down to the <laughs> to pass down to the view, and the view is responding to that. Okay, so that's the path of communication. Is everybody tracking with me on what Javier's doing? Makes sense to me. So that's why he recommended the behavior to me, because that's literally what he has done right here. Is he added that behavior. Um, whereas what I have done, it's gone directly to listening to the scrolled event. Carousel view parallax behavior. Cool stuff. Well, you know, let's do a behavior. Why not? If Javier is doing a behavior, we should do a behavior. 
We trust in Javier. All right, so back to my code. A new folder. Behaviors. Oh, what happened? What are we doing today? We are working on this carousel right here. And uh, we got the carousel going. That's that's good and fine. This is based on, a, on the Disney Plus sample. But what I want to have is I want the center item to be slightly larger than the previous and the next items. So following the lead of what Javier has done, we are going to implement a behavior. For some reason, I added this and then it, oh, it's because I'm running. All right, come here. Behaviors, so behaviors are a, a way to uh, augment the behavior or something. And that's exactly what we want to do here. So new item, uh, we'll call this Disney carousel behavior. No, not a content page, just a class. Sanku. Cool, cool. Do this. Poof. That, that. All right. Get some includes. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong keys on this keyboard. Cool. And then what is that? Oh. Fix that. Oh, this is the bindable property. Kind of don't really care about that. I'm not going to use it. Or I guess maybe I should use it. You know what? I'm using it. Totally going to use it. All right, so scale property. So we can pass in the scale and we can goof around with it from, uh, what do you call that? XAML. Yep, I know you don't. Now you do. Uh, yeah, the default should not be 200. Default should be 1. I think it should be 1. Okay. Yep, using some link. Oof, need to uh, replace all these puppies, don't we? Well... Okay, we'll get back to that. Um, so what I all okay, I need a model. No, not the server explorer. I never use it. Go away. Also, you team explorer, come here. Go away. Toolbox, go away. Never use them. Don't want them. Anybody here uh, use the toolbox? on VS Mac or Windows. Oh, already got one. Do I have a view models folder? All right. Um, no from Glenn. No toolbox for you. It's because you're a master. Master of all the control toolkits. You don't need it. All right. I'm, I'm hesitating because I feel a little funky about something. So here's what I feel funky about from an MVVM standpoint. In my opinion, um, 
that these are these are states of the view um, and so I, I, I want to call this a view model it's not a view model for the page but it's a view model could I bump up my volume uh, for my voice I can maybe just move it closer a little bit I'm also probably mumbling is that any better I think that's fairly maxed out on that thing. I'm up into the yellow now. All right, cool. Yeah, I was probably mumbling too. I apologize. Not projecting. Um, right, so what I'm getting at is what I saw Javier did here, <laughs> David's ASMR. Can you actually hear the music? It is pretty chill. Um, oh, my gosh. Speaking of ASMR, I'll, I'll tell a story on my daughter, my uh sixth grader. So she, uh, she was going to sleep and I'm ruining it. Uh, so she was going to sleep and, uh, I went into her room. It was like, uh, over the holiday break and, uh, she had her phone and her phone, she was dead asleep and her phone was playing some kind of an ASMR YouTube channel. And it was this girl giving, uh, uh, this girl, um, shampooing her doll's hair and talking super asmr -y. and it was like all you know and now we're going to rub the scalp nice and gently and it, you could hear the noise the crunchy noise of the doll's hair and the and the shampoo that she was using and it was all it was all it was a little creepy to be honest but put my daughter straight to sleep man so there's that. For me, I just need to put on some chill music like this, which some of you can't hear. I need to figure out, I need to get that mini mixer thing that Gerald was showing earlier. And uh, so I can. <laughs> All right. Uh, so back to my comment. Um, what Javier is doing here. Come on, little blue bar. Go, go, go. Man, you remember when like loading progress and status all used to be in the status bar at the bottom and now that's like completely hidden? Kind of don't like it. Anyway, so he's actually updating the carousel item and this is what he is binding to that, gal to that carousel. Unless I'm missing this. I'm pretty sure that's what he's binding to the carousel. He has a drinks view model, which I assume has a collection of carousel item. Yep. Um, so my, my complaint about that is that, um, I really still feel like the carousel item is a view model. Anybody disagree with that? Cause it is the backing state model for the view. So that's how I'm going to, that's how I'm going to treat it. Uh, so let's go with, um, new class. Disney carousel item. Wow, that got really long, didn't it? Uh, Disney view model, Disney item view model, whatever. Let's not get hung up on names. Um, so this needs to have the I notify property changed, but did I bring in, did I bring in the MVVM helpers? I didn't. Let's do that. I think I just need to do that in the library, don't I? Man is nougat package. You found an emoticon of somebody scratching their head? That's amazing. All right, uh, nougat.org, that's where I want to be. It's the place to be. MVVM helpers. And we want the one from James, this one. Installed, nice. Well, I got a lot of errors. Oh, that's because I haven't cleaned that stuff up yet. All right. 
no big deal. So back to my Disney item view model. Uh, we will, this has the base. I believe that's all we need. Whoops. Make it harder on myself using, thank you very much. Oh, I guess I could have just typed that in and let it go fetch for me, couldn't I? Have you seen that before? Let's do that. Let's do this. Because we're all about learning. I want to see if this works. Get rid of that using statement. Come back here. Packages. Manage. MVVM helpers installed. MVVM helpers. Get rid of it. Uninstall it. This should be in Essentials. Or similar. Maybe a patterns library. I certainly like to use it all the time. Um, so what I believe I can do, because I like to be able to code and let the IDE do all the other chores, right? If I said base view model and it doesn't know what it is, but then I ask it to auto complete it, it asks me, do I want to install this thing and I say yes find and install the latest version it goes out does that work adds the using statement Bob's your uncle right isn't that how you say it Bob's your uncle love it more more things like that would be nice to have happen so we need a public uh, was it a double scale so Dylan, I think VS for Mac can do that with uh, M Fractor. Somebody tell me if I'm wrong or tell me if I'm right. <laughs> that's, that's Bob. Do I sound like that when I'm um, get set, but I want this with a uh, convert it to a full property. Thank you. And then this, I believe, I need to do a uh, set property, All right? Um, ref to scale, and then value gets passed in. And I believe that will pop my uh, notified property changed. And then public string image source. Get set. All right. I saw that Infractor just, uh, that Matthew just shipped an update for VS Mac anyway. Um, has anybody gotten his preview of the Windows version? I uh, would love to benefit from all those helpers. As you can tell, I depend on help. How's that going for you, Lachlan? Has it been good? I'm sure it's early, early days. Been working hard on it. Um, okay, so now I've got a Disney item view model. Um, come back down to my, I don't need to do that. I just need to go to, and actually, I'm going to ditch all this. Don't need it, don't want it. I think I have a stray. Yep, got a stray. Use the Mac one all the time. Dabbed in the windows. Cool. Okay. I don't want that anymore. You I will want. You I think I'm done with, but... Can we close all to the right? Is that a thing? Close all but this? Close all documents? I think that's something you can do in VS Mac, can't you? You can say close all to the right. Oh, well. So uh, I need an XML and S for my view model. And I think I pointed this out. This is a frustration that I have. Inside of uh, things like this, if I did this and then, you know, Disney item view model. It doesn't know what VM is. I need to add that. 
and I can't. It, it won't auto-complete that for me and generate the XML and S. Bummer. XML and S. View model. And then equals view models. Booyah. All right, so that's good. And uh, so, but now I need to VM carousel view model my uh, image source equals this. Whoops. Like that. Like that. I got four of these. Two, three, four. M Fractor does not do the nougat thing. Dang. Roger does a lot of cool things. I got a lot. All right, so this is now image source. And I set my scales. Oops, don't do that. Scale Y equals binding. It's going to be a uniform scale, so I didn't create separate properties. Uh, Ryder doesn't have doesn't have our hot reload. No. Um, Andre misshape. Man, I need to really lock down Andre's last name. Hang on. Did you all see my tweet about the full stack thing? That tweet has blown up. People are all over that tweet. Check this out. Where is it? No. <laughs> Cracks me up. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. I haven't been tweeting enough. But hey, my follower count's up. Um, look at this. 466 likes, 75 retweets, 62 replies. <sighs> 55,296 impressions. <laughs> I mean... I was amused when I tweeted it, but I didn't. I had no idea that people were going to react to it like this. It's cracking me up. <laughs> All right, Andre. There he is, Andre, just for fun. Miss Yukovich. I think that's how you say it, Miss Yukovich. All right, so he has his hot reload. And uh, somebody that he works with or collaborated with did a plugin, uh, and it does work with Writer. Go forth and have fun. But hopefully, you know, at some point, Visual Studio captures your heart and brings you back. All right, so I got my bindings, got this. I did not set up yet my behavior. So let's go carousel view, not the item template, but behaviors. And then we'll go with a B for behaviors. And uh, what do we call this? Disney, it's right there. Disney carousel behavior like this. And then we will and this one will add the XML and S for us. Love that. Um, and we'll go ahead and tell it that the scale we want it to use is a 1.2. So 120%. Something broken. 4.2? Yes. I think that broke broken R hot reload. I think I did hear about that. I ride the bleeding edge. All right, so I think that's all set up and good. So now the big thing to resolve here is the behavior itself. So 
So I don't think that I really care about any of that. What is it, Casey? Um, Disney item view model is what we call that puppy, right? Not going to change the position. Just going to... I'm going to set the scale. <laughs> oh. I see what's going on. Okay. So... I'll force it for the moment. This is the one that I want to be scale. Uh, get rid of these. Uh, last item, current item. If that equals vertical, we're not doing vertical. So I don't really need that check, do I? Not sure. Current index, last index. Our first index. <laughs> we know what you meant, Clifford. First visible item index. So last item. Let's just do... First item, first item index, and then all right. Is this going to work? What's everybody think? Do I have any errors outstanding? No errors. I'm, I'm at like a 65, 66, 67% confident it's going to work. And all of that confidence comes from the fact that Javier <laughs> did this, sort of did this. Can you hear the music now? Right? <laughs> Music actually does a great job of keeping me engaged. <laughs> Makes me feel like I'm doing something epic. All right, here we go. Moment of truth.
Oh my, oh my, you guys. All right, a little pop action, but it's there. Huh. That's some progress. Didn't like how that, like what's up with the sizing on that? Interesting. Now, because I did do this uh, as a behavior, I can do things like this, right? And I can say, okay, not 120, 140. That didn't seem like it got too much bigger, actually. Oh. Huh. It's getting clipped. Uh-oh, here comes UPS. Dog's going to start barking. Mute. Mm, my wife actually dog whispered him. Hello, hello, welcome. So working on this animation. See what happens here is if I get rid of this, let's look, let's look at this. If I get rid of the fixed height, yeah, there's my full deal. So then I would, I could say something like, so that makes me wonder if I'm better off having the first, the center one be one and then this be for the others. So let's let's see what happens if we do that. Yeah. So let's invert what we did here in the behavior. We decided we didn't need these things. Um, so you first and the last will take the scale and the current will be back to a normal 1.0. And domestic manager, CEO of the homestead. See you, my friend. So they are there, but they're too far away. We can fix this. We can fix this. Um. I wonder, what if I take that out? Where does that set us? It's like just off screen. I've lost them, I've lost them. I know they're there. All right, increase the peak area, I guess. I really feel like these peak area values are bananas. So then like, what if I did, did that, is that, ooh, invalid value. So it needs to be a positive value. So, I'm in the ballpark. In the ballpark. So I guess the next thing to do would be to, um, <laughs> she is the CEO whether you acknowledge it or not, Cliff. Uh, the next thing to do would be to smooth that out. <laughs> And also, let's see here. What did I have? I had a height request of 180, something like that. So now we're back in business with that. And the scaling doesn't clip anything. <clears throat> and I guess there's really no um, property to Change the clip to bounds on this, is there?
Hmm. Okay. Cool. Well, I'm pleased I got this far with it. I have questions which I've asked and we'll get clarification on regarding the uh, that peak area inset value. I mean, that's 120. 120 what? Right? And even if it were split amongst two, is that 60? Seems like that's more than 60. I guess I could... I could tease that out real quick. Kind of want to know what the deal is with this thing. Yeah, I thought that might be the case. All right. Um, give it a height of 50. No, height of 100. And then aspect fit. No, aspect fill. Sorry. There we go. That's more of what I was hoping for. Okay. Um, and then... What I was going to do here is do a box view with a height of 30, width request of 60, horizontal options to the start, and a background color of ugly green. Yeah, see that's 60. which would be half of the inset. Make this one yellow, just to see what, what it measures out 122. You know, obviously twice as much. So I don't understand, hey Steven, so I don't understand what's going on with the, uh, how, how this peak area insets is meant to work. Like if I go back to zero, Where's my linear items layout? There is no item spacing. And if I change this, I was looking to see if it was like a percentage or something. I mean, I can go look at the code or whatever, but... Something about that sizing is just not making sense to me. But anyway, I got something close. All right, so I'm gonna uh, comment that out. So I didn't find any new bugs or new issues to complain about <laughs> to file with the team on that one. Um, it's the same stuff that I keep running into in terms of positioning, sizing, peak area insets. Um, I mean, obviously I can get really far with it, which is great. Gosh, type boy. I put some other stuff in there. I need to split some things apart. 
because I was doing a comparison with the cards view. All right, well, I accomplished what I wanted to today. While I'm here for a couple more minutes, if anybody has a question, a story, a limerick, happy to entertain. Otherwise, Did everybody fill out my survey, please, and thank you? <laughs> I appreciate you doing it. Here, let me help you. In the chat, here we go. Just joined. Yeah, I run out of steam around an hour and 15 or hour and 20 minutes, especially in the middle of the afternoon. Cool, thank you. I hope you were all brutally honest. It really is good. Um, good that you fill it out. We use the data mostly to spin up uh, interviews and have conversations with people about stuff that we are wanting to focus on or have been focusing on. Um, it's funny, I had a, uh, a call earlier today, and I've had quite a few of these recently, where I'm talking to, um, talking to a company who's saying, hey, you know, is Microsoft still invested in Xamarin? What's the story? You know, should we be looking at other things? And then I share with them all the numbers that I have to share about our growth. Uh, you know, you go data mine our GitHub repositories. Uh, you can easily see that the activity and the contributions to Xamarin in, at large, as well as Xamarin Forms especially, has been growing. And it's, it's doing the right trajectory that you want. Um, and then we share some of the internal numbers in terms of adoption, which is increasing uh, faster than the market trend for mobile developers. And, you know, it's like it's a mature platform. It is growing. It is being used. And we show you all of this stuff. And, uh, and then we uh, often hear, you know, that's super encouraging. I love the presentation. I love you sharing all that with us. But, um, but it seemed like marketing. And we want to know, like, wow us with features, right, is kind of what I end up hearing um, in some cases, not all cases. And I, I find that humorous because it's like previously to that, I was showing nothing but features and I was told we need more marketing. And it's like, ah, you can't win, you can't win. But uh, anyway, if anybody asks, Xamarin's doing well. We just need to, I don't know, it's a public perception issue. We need, we, we're not the cool kids on the block anymore or something. We just are good at what we do. Uh, could do more event marketing outside the U.S. to promote Xamarin again. So we uh, do have an event we are going to do coming up. I can't tell you all about it just yet, but um, we will have a Xamarin-specific event coming up. I appreciate that you have seen more from us. I uh, I will tell you from my perspective, it's not because of Flutter, though. <laughs> I've always been trying to be active. Um, we did happen upon some really cool ideas earlier in the year in terms of doing challenges and creating a little bit of energy and buzz around that. That worked out well, um, but it wasn't. It was. It was only. <laughs> It was really all about getting feedback on the product so we can make the product better. It wasn't in response to, to Flutter. Believe me or not, but it's, it's the truth. And some of those were just happy accidents that people really enjoyed doing those challenges and activities. Always got to get more monkeys. I think we, personally, I feel like we're due for a new style of monkey. I think James doesn't like this guy very much, but this was billed two years ago, this guy. I'm not a fan of the shirt. I, I want a Xamarin shirt on this guy. But I like I like having a variety of monkeys. It's 
collect them all, right? It's like, you know, can't, you can't see him if I sit him down here. Yeah, it's a great monkey. It's a good size. He sits well. I mean, I'm pretty sure uh, James had a hand in picking him out. Um, but like the other guys, the uh, the retro guys back there, they, they don't stay sitting up nearly as well as this guy. But yeah, more monkeys. Sorry, I'm reading back here. Yeah, we don't have as much customer-facing marketing. We, we don't have any customer-facing marketing. Um, we do market out to the field engineers. I do wonder if the uh, the field reps have as any or the right incentive to promote Xamarin. I mean, we are, the Xamarin marketing engine was on fire because they were selling licenses. You know, they had they had real reason to to sell Xamarin and now the the value of Xamarin is in its intrinsic value to you as a business. Um, <clears throat> so who who's the one that should be out there promoting and, and selling it? Uh, we don't have there's there's no sales incentivized plan in place to do that. I'm not sure what to do about that. Certainly getting people more excited about the, um, yeah, we could, we can raid Clancy. Good idea. Is he streaming right now? I assume he is since you said so. Let's do that. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> James is all up in the monkey business. Yeah, now there's a lot of, re you know, that, that is the whole reason, not the whole reason, but that's a big uh, justification for Xamarin is to, um, is the natural progression to using Azure and uh, other services. We don't really have to push it from our standpoint. You're going to use it or you're not going to use it, but it's one of the reasons that we exist. The whole .NET platform, really. So it's all open source. All right, cool. Let's go see about Raid and Clancy here. Go back to my dashboard. We'll go in there and make some noise for the Clancy Meister. Clancy. I don't see Clancy. I don't, I don't think he's streaming right now, man. Is he? He is. He is live. Let's do it. Here we go. How many of us are there? 18. We're doing it. Rating in eight seconds. Thanks, everybody, for joining. It was a good time. Appreciate you hanging out. As always, raid now. What's up, Clancy? That's it. And if you want to do a sequence, like I'm doing with that rainbow text, we say begin sequence. We'll set it back to repeating equals true. So that way this rainbow one just keeps going and going and going. Hey, Lachlan, thank you. Thanks for the cheer. And even this sequence is actually touching things outside of it. It's dealing with the text that it's on and also that button. So it's changing that. Well, this animation sequence is in charge of both of these, which is kind of fun.
That's really fun. It's kind of trippy watching. Too many things flashing. Very ugly. But it's cool. That's all that matters. All right. So we've got that working. Let's make it to where an animation frame can't be called again until it's finished. And to do that, did I commit all this? Oh, wait. Let's commit all this. Hey, thanks for the follow, Jay Kelly. All right, so added animation sequence. And the best part about this is this animation's cross-platform. 100% cross-platform. So it's all working everywhere. I haven't, I've tested on iOS, Android, and Mac. I haven't tested on Windows yet, but there's no reason it won't work on Windows. Let's try the new stuff on Mac. It works in Skia. It works in Skia. Right now, my Skia builds only work on iOS, and I don't know why. I need your help fixing that, Matt. So right now, we have an animated Skia. Like I said, any property works. So as long as you hook in and you build your controls using the Comet pattern, um, you can make any custom controls get animation for free. You don't even have to do anything. You just have to build your controls. So I didn't do button right. I realized I built button wrong, but I'm going to be building all the controls anyway in Skia. So let's go and snag this. And inside the samples, Skia animated sample. Didn't I do a, I could have sworn I built one last night. Did I put it outside? All right, let's go to the main. We'll find it. Ski a button sample. Why is it called ski a button sample? All right, so this animate doesn't work. I need to fix that. But oh, remove the button because that doesn't make sense. All right, so now let's go run it. Animated ski a sample. Try that again. <laughs> Maybe it didn't restart. So those new to it, Comet is a new UI framework I'm working on. Let me do the Comet command. So it's a C-sharp fluent 